what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're doing something special you guys already know what it is by the title of the damn video i need to go through all that okay this is going to be probably the most ghettoest um unboxing on youtube i don't i don't care <laughs> okay we're gonna do this we're gonna get this new pc out of the box um so first and foremost i want to in a video on camera thank everybody that has joined for memberships and patreon members of course that are still signing up for patreon even though i don't post anything over there i know it's just for the support i really do appreciate it so i send a shout out to you guys first and foremost because you help make this happen every little bit counts um you know every one of those donations subscriptions or whatever they have been poured back into the business of terabyte reacts here on youtube and it has allowed me to take a little bit of the expense off of what i would have ended up spending on everything that i spent so just to give you guys a background and i did put it out there on the channel um me, um what they call that page again I'm blanking. I don't care. You guys already know. You know what I'm talking about. Community tab. Whatever. Yeah, because it's the only place that people get notifications from now on my channel anyways. It's like most of the people see that and they're like, okay, blah, blah, blah. He's doing this. So everything that I post now, I got to make sure that I post it over there because YouTube is still not sending out my notifications. But instead of whining and bitching about it, I've just decided to just carry on with the thing. So... I've been holding off on doing reactions or starting new reactions on the channel because I needed this PC to come in first because I'm going to be starting to doing new things on the channel, different things on the channel. So um, I did put out a picture of the box already. So what we're going to do is while this unboxing is going on, I'm not going to take out everything and then show you what it is and all this stuff. I'm just going to do a time lapse of what the uh, of of me putting it together. It's actually on the floor right now, <laughs> the box and everything because it's a huge box. It might it might have seemed a bit small in the picture, but it's a big box. It is a big box, people. So I just want you guys to know that I appreciate y'all for this. So we're gonna do a time lapse of me doing the unboxing, and then once the PC is out, I'll sit it on top of something and I'll put it in front of the camera so you guys can see what it looks like when it's on and everything. So we'll go through all of that process um, of me setting it up and everything. I'm not gonna show you guys how I'm plugging it in or where I'm putting it in, in the setup and everything and anything like that. I'm just gonna probably place it on top of something and just let you see what it looks like and show you the insides and I'll tell you guys the specs once I have everything set up and everything I'll bring up the specs so you can see it for yourself and I can tell you my experience through it and then I'll probably do a video probably I don't know maybe a month or so in and I can tell you guys how it's running because this is a pre-built PC so this was not my intention from the get-go I wanted to buy all the parts and fix the PC myself because I have experience in doing that stuff I don't I didn't need to watch YouTube videos or anything I actually used to buy parts and build my own PC and build PC for other people um, little is very minor stuff such as changed over the years it's the last time I did it um, you know now they have um, CPU cooler systems and stuff like that you got water cooling you, you know, all of this other different kind of cooling and stuff like that. I think that's the main thing that really changed over the years. Like, because now you have more, you know, your graphics card do more. Now you got graphics card with fans on them. And you know what I'm saying? I mean, other than, you know, things have become um, faster and stuff like that. Other than that, it's not a lot that has changed about building PCs. It's a very easy process if you know where to put stuff and know how to apply stuff and know you know where to put them and stuff like that i think the the thing that people make a big deal out of the, these days is like cable management within the pc because now it's got to be you know it got to look pretty inside now <sighs> listen i don't care about none of that even though this is a very pretty pc it's coming rgb lighting and all that which i will be showing you guys once i turn it on 
I will show you guys all of that. Anyways, let's get to it. We're five minutes into the video. I should have started already. Let's go. Okay, so here we go. This is the unbox <laughs> of this PC right here. Um, it is a Redux. If you go to Build Redux, I think it's buildredux.com. Um, you can choose your part. The reason why I went with Redux is because they're like an offshoot of, um, what's the name of that other one again? I'm blanking a lot today. Uh, I'm too excited anyways so I know you can't probably can't see it properly right now I'm gonna need to have to probably bring the camera up a bit so that it stop doing that off the bottom of the floor you seen all that green and stuff that's because the green screen is not there and it's for green screen so what I'm going to do is raise the camera up a little bit for you um, get it so you guys can get a better view I'll give you guys a better view off the off of it I mean it's in all black right now and I have a black background so you guys are probably not going to see it that well so I probably just change the background a little bit so you guys can see it um, I'm gonna light it up give me a few minutes let me get everything situated um, I have to open up the side I am going to have to open up the side to take out the foam as you can see here the foam inside I have to take that out and make sure that everything is sitting right and nothing didn't get moved on delivery so I take the foam out make sure the graphics card is good and plugged in properly um, the power is plugged in properly I got to do all of that stuff and then once I get the hard drive in and everything, because I ordered this without any pre-install operating system. So, because I can get Windows 10, literally. Like, I don't need them to install that, because I already have a SSD ready to be plugged into this computer and ready to go. Um, with Windows 10 already installed on it, so, and that was going to be an extra, I think it's like an extra hundred and something dollars. And I was like, why am I going to pay for that when I already have that here sitting on an SSD already? Like, I'm just going to just plug that into here and we'll be good to go. I have a couple of fans. This, this case does not come with any fans at the top. And I need some um, outtake fans on the top as well they got one at the back here as you can see so what I'm going to do I'm gonna switch a switch a couple of things up so you guys can see this properly I know you guys can't see my face right now it's okay okay so what I'm gonna do you're gonna I'm probably not gonna do another time lapse here but watch me do it and then we'll show off the inside of it while I take that off and then I'll make sure everything is situated and then I'll probably just light it up see what's going on see if the RGB would come on without the hard drive in it if it doesn't then I'll slip the hard drive in set up and then I'll take a picture or something post it whatever situation is we'll deal with it but I do have a couple of fans that I bought that I need to install at the top of the case because it's made for it um, so I just need to install the fans up here I got three fans that I want to put up here hopefully I can put all three of them up here um, I see that there's a mesh at the top here, which is good. So it's made, a, it's a case that you can install fans at the top here. I want to put some outtake fans up out here. So take out some more of the, 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 um, the heat from the PC itself, make it a little bit more cooler inside. Okay. So we're going to do that. Let's go.
very clean, very clean setup. You know what I mean? Like very clean setup. I like it. We got the the power source down there. The um oh you gotta be kidding me. I really yo I didn't think they were gonna get the EVGA because it's very random, right? I didn't even see that at first. It's very random when you do when you get when when you do rebuild. Um, when you order rebuild PCs, right? I'm trying to get my head in the camera. <laughs> when you do rebuild PCs, right? You don't normally get one of the higher sought after graphics cards, as in the ones that are branded, not just by NVIDIA, because you know NVIDIA makes them, but like EVGA, PNY. Uh, PNY is one of the not so much popular ones, but EVGA is like one of the, mo the most popular ones, right? Um, I didn't think that they would have a EVGA one. I thought I would have gotten at least the PNY. Um, <clears throat> yeah. All right. All right. Okay, we got the cooling system set up right. They got it flowing to the top. Nice. Okay, as you can see over here, bring my camera up just a tad. I don't want to move the camera too much, but you guys can see it a little bit, right? Or maybe I have the camera too low. Let me zoom back out a little bit so you can see. My camera is a bit lean. Now that I actually, well, it could be that the, the PC is sitting on top of the box, so it might be that. Might might not be my camera, but we'll I'll check it out later to <laughs> see what that's about. But I'm leaning down right now trying to. Show you guys the inside, as I said. I'm gonna try to install a couple of fans up here, up top under here, so that we can get some some more exhaust for the system. But it's a very clean setup. They got the, um, wait a minute. Okay. Why do I feel like something is missing from this? I don't see. Did they install it somewhere else? There's supposed to be a um there's supposed to be Hold on, I'm going to have to check that out because there's supposed to be an hard drive. Not a hard drive, but an SSD. Um, there's supposed to be an SSD card in this. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't see it. Unless I'm just a dummy. You know what I mean? Unless I'm a dummy and I don't know where this is supposed to be installed. Yeah, there's a M2. Uh, don't don't mind me. I'm just inspecting here. I might cut all of this out anyways. Is it It's not going to be under the graphics card, so it wouldn't be This doesn't make sense. Okay. I mean, I know I said I didn't want the operating system, but where the hell would would they? It's supposed to be installed on the motherboard. Yeah, it's supposed to be installed right here. Unless, well, we'll see when I turn the PC on, because maybe the SSD is installed on the hard drive. Maybe it's hardwired in. I don't know. But we'll see because if then, then I'm going to have to call him and let him know. I was like, I paid for that. Why is it not in the PC? But that's okay. You know what I'm saying? I already have a hard drive ready to go. So what I'm going to do is start the video here and then I will be back with everything set up. Hopefully with the PC running and everything. And I'll show you guys the, the, the specs and everything. And then I'll tell you guys what I think. All right. Let's do it the next day 
All right, so we're starting right here in the middle. Once again, I know you guys are probably wondering, why is he sitting down? What is going on halfway through the video? What's going on? As you can see, I'm wearing a different shirt. It's a new day. <laughs> so actually, I wanted to put that video out last night, but after what I went through with the computer and getting it set up, I didn't have any strength, guys, to finish the video or to edit the video or anything like that. So you're seeing this now halfway through after the unboxing and everything. I'm going to show you what the final and where the setup is and where I have it set up. It's right next to my PS5. I don't know if that's going to be the final place enough yet, but I had a place set out for this PC um, last night to put it. And it just didn't work out. So I had to make a whole bunch of different arrangements. I did not expect the PC to be as big as it at big as it is. It is very long, I should say. Pause. <laughs> right. I don't know if that is a pause moment. But it was very um it's not wide, but it's very long. There's you know what I'm saying? Like the length of it. It's pretty long and it's pretty tall too. Um, I don't know why I was expecting a small PC. It's been years since I've not necessarily seen a PC up front, but like an actual build PC. Like cases have gotten really big. I think that's one of the other things I was talking about in the beginning of the video also that a lot of things, things have changed. It's not like I've, you know, I'm not keeping up to date with PC parts and stuff like that. I have. But I didn't realize now that I have one of these cases like here, I'm pretty sure there are smaller cases out there just the same. But for this one, it's it's in my opinion, um, it's a very tall case. And I, I, and I don't mind because it's very spacious in there. You're not trying to squeeze your hand in to do anything like I had to do some wiring because I had to put those three fans in at the top of it. So I'm while I'm going to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm going to put my face <laughs> over the footage or something. Or I'll just talk in the background of the footage that I took of it sitting where it's supposed, where it's going to be for the time being until I can get a wider desk where I can have everything up on one level, um, per se, because I don't want to have it on the floor. That's for sure. One of the worst things that you can do to a PC is put it on the floor especially these new age pcs with all this speed and you know what i'm saying liquid cooling and all this other stuff you don't want to put that stuff on the floor because it just makes it picks up dust way easier um you know that's just what it is so one of the things that i was talking about in the first part of this video as i remember and i was watching it is that um I was saying that an SSD didn't come with a computer. It took me a while to realize that they actually embedded the SSD in the computer somewhere. Like it's not physically there where I can take it out. Like it's an onboard SSD for some strange reason. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, But I'm not going to argue. I paid for it and that's what they did and that was fine. Because I actually wrote the email to them and was telling them, hey, where's my SSD? But then when I checked it out and I was like, when I was about to install my Windows on, you know, on the, on the hard drive and everything, um, then I was like, why, where, what, where is this SS, where is this SSD? Like I saw another one pop up on the one that I put it and I was like, where is this? I was like, okay, I guess it's in there somewhere. So I was like, okay, I guess it's an onboard SSD. You know, like how they built the SSD into the into the motherboard of like the PS5. It's like kind of like the same thing here, if you understand my meaning. So, um, it it was a struggle. It was a struggle um to get the PC up and running. Um, I I wouldn't say it was the easiest process because it actually took me three to four hours, and it's not necessarily the PC itself. Um, the fans are pretty easy to install. Um, I was having trouble because it seems like um installing the three pin to the to the four pin i had to get um some adapters thank god that the fans that i bought it came with adapters it's called i was getting a little worried there that i wasn't going to be able to get the fans in at the top of the case and i would have to wait um you know to get those adapters from probably amazon or something but 
it worked out fine. But any but in any case, guys, you guys have seen inside of the PC and what's in it. Um, right now, currently, this video is being recorded on the PC. And let me tell you guys something, man. <laughs> let me tell you guys something. <laughs> This is the first time I've ever invested in a high-end PC. And this is not even the highest that you can go at currently. You know what I'm saying? I went for the 3060 Ti because, you know, I've read up about it and I've just heard so many good things about it and how good it is. And I was like, I want that one specifically. Um, you know, you still have the 3070. I think they just dropped the 3070 Ti too, uh, or a thir I think it's like a 3080 Ti. I think it. I don't. I don't remember. But I th it's one of the t one, one out of the two. I think it's a 3080 Ti, and then you have the 3090 too, which I'm not even trying to get. Stuff like that, in my opinion, is just overkill, because. How prettier do you need to see games? PC don't really get that many games anyways. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much everything on PC is multiplat. So, you know what I'm saying? I didn't buy this PC for to play games on. I might play games on it, but I didn't buy it for that purpose. I bought it for a specific reason to have to be able to edit my videos faster. Also, mainly for streaming content and also to get my videos out quicker. I was testing it out today throughout the day before I made this video and I am super impressed. So I'm gonna show you guys the stats and everything at the end of this video, but before that, I'm gonna take a look at what the PC looks like when it's up and running with the RGB lights and everything. It looks really clean. I haven't even taken off the plastic off the glass to see through um, the, the side. I haven't even taken off the plastic yet. I don't think I'm going to be doing that because um, it's not really necessary for me to take off the plastic that much because it's not like I'm sitting down admiring the PC. I'm not. Um, I love technology, but I love that it works. <laughs> you understand? I'm not a guy that going to buy something just because it because it looks good especially a pc like i don't buy a watch because it looks good unless it's like a luxury watch or something and i know that that's what it is you know what i'm saying with some rocks in it or something like that like for that's what it is and i'm it, i have a couple of luxury watches that i only wear if i'm going out like to somewhere super special like <laughs> you know what i'm saying so when it comes on to that stuff you know, it looks nice. I like how it looks. Don't get me wrong, but that's the least, the last reason why I bought this PC. The last reason, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's at the total bottom of the list of good looking. Um, if the PC had ran, if the PC runs this good and the cables was all over the place, I wouldn't care. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Like, you know, on online now, when you look up PC bills and stuff like that, oh my God, it has to look so cute and pretty and full of RGB lights. Look at my build. It's, it's all white ice and all of this. Listen, I'm not into all of that. Okay. So if you're here for that, for this review, I just want you guys to know what's the specs that I chose. Um, so we'll, I'll show you guys that at the end of the video. Okay, so we're going to jump in. That is all I have to say for now. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to I'm going to show you guys where I have it situated, what it looks like when it's all lit up, whatever, for a quick few. And then <laughs> I mean, I didn't even have the lights on when I took the video anyways. So it's not going to look crazy good because I had to take the camera down, which I don't want to be doing because I just. I'll, I'll talk to you guys after this. Listen, let's just get to it, and I'll talk to you guys after when I'm showing you guys the stats, and I'm going to tell you guys how much everything that I have cost me over the course of the last, I want to say the last six to eight months that I've been saving and buying this stuff that I saved for an entire year to do. Let's get to it. All right, so as you can see here, I have it set up right over there by the ps5 and those of you who are already saying why well, he got his ps5 then they gonna push it out the back and the air come get the pc's gonna be pushing that air through to the tpu and i do it you know that you guys are probably gonna say that but actually what i did here is that i put the the the, the ps5 i kind of moved it out of the way 
so you can get that because I'm actually not going to have the PS5 right there. But hey, I could actually put the PS5 on top of it, but I'm not going to do that because, you know, <laughs> the PS5 is going to be probably in, uh, you know, intaking all of that here. But any case, guys, that is what it looks like front and this side glass panel, whatever generic white colors in it. Um, and I just have that setting right there for white. So there you go. That's what it looks like all set up. As I said, I'm beaming. Let's go. All right. So let's do this. Let's talk about it. So the company that I chose to go with, I mentioned this, um, uh, a little bit earlier, but let me go into depth a little bit more. So when I started to go after a PC, right? I told you guys that I was going to buy the individual parts and build a PC myself because it's something I know it's not very hard to do. You know, building PCs is not, it's not rocket science. All the, the freaking information is out there for you. You don't have to be a genius to build a PC. God, we saw Henry Cavill who has zero knowledge of PCs, just reads the instructions or the manual and just put a PC together. We've, you know, if you haven't seen that video, look it up on YouTube, right? Um, it's not very hard to do. You don't have to know about, you know, the parts that much. You need some basic knowledge. Yes. Cause you don't want to fry your motherboard, but for the most part, you don't need a lot of knowledge to build a, build a PC. You want to know what goes with what, of course. And you know, um, certain things, if you're going to have, um, certain amount of things inside the PC, you need to know that you need to have a power supply that can handle, um, that amount of, um, power, I guess, if you want to call it that, <laughs> I don't want to go too technical, but, um, so I decided to go with the company Redux. And the reason for this is because I don't know if you saw when I put out a community post saying that I'm looking for a 3060 TI. I don't know any, I, I don't think it was a 3060 TI. I think it was a 2080 at the time that I was looking for. And then I read up about the 3060 TI and I was like, I wouldn't mind spending an extra uh, amount of money, but we still couldn't find them because scalpers, right? The same situation that was going on with the PS five is the same situation. I didn't know this. This is the same situation going on with graphics cards. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you would think that graphics card would just be readily available, but no, it's the same situation. Scalpers just scoop them up off the market. You got people buying graphic card for, for mining, um, cryptocurrency and stuff like that. Like it's a mess. So you can't get a hold of these unless you're planning to spend at least 1500 to even, you know what I'm saying? $3,000 for one of these cards, you know, on eBay, you know what I'm saying? No, but nowhere else has these cards except eBay. So the only way to get your hands on one of these cards, if you really, really want one and you don't want to pay these exorbitant amount of money for them is to order a pre-build because these companies that do pre-builds, they get a certain amount of these cards from the actual companies like Nvidia. And I think it's AMD that makes the other ones or was, is it AMD or, um, uh, I don't know. All I know is that I'm a huge AMD fan by the way. So, um, I know Nvidia is like the main top of the top. Like if you have an Nvidia card, you know what I'm saying? You, you, the man, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you can, you can, um, brag about it a little bit. So, um, so I decided to go with a company Redux, which is a dear, dear, like, I, I still don't remember the name of the company for, for some damn reason. It's like, is it HDXC or something or NX, whatever their name is, but you, you look up the, the thing yourself. I'm not going to look it up because it's not pertinent knowledge. You know what I'm saying? This is not a tech review. <laughs> this is just me just telling you guys, if you're looking to get your hands on one of these cards, man, this is practically the only way <laughs> at this point to get your hands on these cards at a reasonable price still. So we're going to take a look here and I'll show you guys the final price of what this cost me this pc built um if uh, i'm pretty sure i could have gotten something better if everything was readily available and i could build a pc myself i could have paid less for it but you guys know how desperately i need a, a, 
a PC that could do what I needed to do. So I had to go ahead and spend money anyways. But so let's go through here. I'll show you guys um, as we go down the list here. So they charge like $75 for the build itself, you know, testing, warranty, whatever. $75. As I said, I did not order any operating system with it because that's another hundred and something dollars that I didn't need to spend. They also give you a Wi-Fi 6 um, wireless um, card, if you want to call it that, for your internet, if you want to use wireless. Um, I got it anyways, because why not? You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll want to use Wi-Fi at some point. I don't usually use Wi-Fi on PCs, but whatever the situation is. So... We got the fans, of course. Um, four fans came with the came with it. I showed you guys that yesterday. Three at the front, one at the back, and I installed three more at the top, right? So, okay, you got a Cooler Master um, case. This is the case. This is the power supply right here, 600 watt power supply, and the Beastly 3060 Ti, eight gigabyte um, NVIDIA GeForce RTX card right graphics card so this is what i ordered where i said like i expected the ssd this is the ssd right here right for 124 dollars. so i expected this to be i expected it to look like this because this is what usually m2 ssd cards are supposed to look like you get what i'm saying that's what they're supposed to i expected it to look like this picture because I'm used to that. I see that. So when I was looking in the PC yesterday after the unboxing and I was like, where's the SSD? I didn't see it because it's it's not where it's supposed to be. <laughs> right. Um, so when I was ready to install windows and everything on my drive, I saw another drive pop up and I was like, what's this one terabyte drive? You know, this must be the SSD. So I, immediately email them back and tell them don't worry about it i found the ssd <laughs> i'm looking stupid so of course you have a 16 gigabytes i'm planning to drop two more sticks in there um to complete it to be 32 so that's going to happen of course and this of course is the cooler right and then you have the um the motherboard right here and of course the cpu which is the AMD Ryzen 7 3700 X8 core. So, um, so yeah, decent, really good PC, not super high end. I, th I, I think it's a really decent PC can handle anything you pretty much throw at it. Um, and so far so good. Um, also what took me so long last night when I boot up the computer also, when I tried to do everything, it kept shutting off and i think for some reason it couldn't boot the windows that was on the drive i already had so i had to um install a new version of windows on the actual ssd that's on board so that worked out so, you know you guys already know what's happening here i live in florida so that's not a surprise you guys know i'm out here in Miami so as you can see here the total that I spent was one thousand nine hundred and sixty three dollars fifty nine cents um, the subtotal for all the parts and everything that I ordered you know is just seventeen hundred and eighty eight dollars but after tax county tax and state tax which doesn't make no damn sense to me why well, there's so many tax plus I had to pay forty six dollars for the shipping I did ground shipping because I didn't mind waiting a couple extra days for it to be delivered because I was already going to wait five to six weeks for the PC because of COVID. So I was willing to wait. You know, I kept emailing them to get updates and stuff like that on when it's going to be shipped and stuff like that because, you know, you get anxious because you're, you know, you're wondering if it's ever going to be made and sent to you. So you get a little bit anxious because of COVID and stuff like that. Every business is kind of slowed down. You know what I mean? So they it taking them a longer time to get these PCs out because maybe they don't have as much people working and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people. They got a lot more orders since COVID hit. 
because more people are at home, more kids are at home. You know what I'm saying? They're bugging their parents about all this stuff. Oh, I need to play Fortnite in 4K and all of this other stuff. And these are pretty much gaming PCs. Um, but as I already told you guys, I'm not going to be using this PC for games. So, um, in terms of that, that's what I wanted to show you guys. So, if you're ever thinking about building a PC, I think Redux is a good option. Um, I think they are a good option. There are other people that do pre-builds. Right now, NZXT, it, they do pre-builds as well. And I was going to them. I was going to do them first. But the thing about NZXT is that you can't really choose the parts you want and have options. So the thing about it is like, oh, this is a streaming PC. Boom, we're just going to send that to you. You don't know if you're going to get a high-end graphics card or not in, inside of it. That's one of the things that I don't like about um, ordering and. NZXT because you don't know what you're going to get in that PC. You you really, I mean, they lay it out in certain ways for you, but not as detailed as Redux do. So you're kind of like, they just tell you, oh, this is a great streaming PC. This is a great iron PC. And then they just price it. That's it. You order it, boom. Hopefully you're getting a high end PC, right? So that's one of the things I didn't like about that process with NZXT. Uh, they were my first choice, but at the same time, um, it worked out well that I went with Redux. So that was the price, guys, um, I wanted to show you guys. So overall, so we're going to do a little bit of tallying here. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of tallying <laughs> right now for this video because I also want to test out the, the rendering on the new computer how fast it renders out my videos because I'm pretty sure it's going to be way faster than it used to be so let's let's talk about it so in total I spent um call it $1,900 you know almost $2,000 on this computer on the PC alone the camera new camera the 5100 um Sony that cost me $600 okay that was six hundred dollars. So, um, so that's call it two thousand six hundred dollars right there. So everything else that I had to get over this period, over this period of time, the PS Five cost me five hundred dollars, right? Um, well, not five hundred dollars. I actually paid seven hundred dollars for my PS Five because, well, I needed it and I couldn't wait. I actually ended up getting a second one. Which I, which I ended up giving away to somebody close to me. Um, so I was going to save it for a giveaway on the channel. But um, is, I would say fa family comes first. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to say that because you, I really do consider you guys um, like an extended family for myself at this current moment. So it's like I don't, I don't want to feel – I feel kind of weird saying that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but – at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I'm grateful. I had to buy like a couple of new TVs as well during this period. So it was like um, one of the TVs cost me like $300. Another one cost me like $200. So it's another $500. Um, so how much we at right now? Probably around like $4,500 somewhere around there. Um, so I would say... You know, with everything that I've taken my time and being fully upgraded now, I don't need anything. I literally don't need anything to do what I want to do, right? I have the old computer. I'm still going to be using that to do, you know, small work stuff and stuff like that. It's basically going to become my office um, laptop or whatever. Um, so I literally don't need anything at this current moment for my setup. Everything that I need, the stand that I had to get, the tripod or whatever that I had to buy for the camera and all of that other stuff, like everything I would say cost me all in all as a rounded off number, I would say it cost me about $5,000. But um, but it's it's well worth it. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm definitely happy 
I'm I'm happy. I have no qualms. I have no arguments. The PC is working fine. So that even makes me even more happy because it's the most expensive piece of equipment that I have in the setup right now. So I'm happy. You know what I'm saying about that, that that came and there was no issues to set it up. I mean, not set it up, but there were no issues once I turned it on. Like the issue was on me and the hard drive I had before. Like after I had a fresh install and everything, everything just ran smooth. Computers moving lightning quick. Like I've never ever in my life used a computer this fast. So I'm happy about that. Um, I knew it was possible, but I just I'm not the type of person that just gets up and just spends money just just because I can spend money if I have I set a goal and then I save towards it. I advise everybody to do that because you don't just want to take up two thousand dollars and spend on the PC unless you got it like that. You know what I'm saying? Um and even though I could have done that, you know, months ago, I could have just, you know, even before the allotted time that I set and when I wanted to purchase it and save towards it, I could have purchased this PC from last, I want to say way before COVID hit, I could have done it like, you know, a year and a half into doing YouTube. I could have done it even before that. When I just started streaming, I could have done it. And I decided to stick to my guns because that's how I operate. Right. So I'm talking to you guys out of love, man. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all for, you know, everybody that has signed up, signed up for membership i want to give a shout out to y'all once again memberships on the channel patreons on the channel and all of you um other subscriptions that comes in all of my other subs i thank you guys the love and the support that you guys show on this channel is unprecedented i know i keep telling you guys we don't do big numbers over here but i'm good you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not stressing over it or anything like that. It's not a huge deal. I do YouTube because it's fun, even though I want it to turn into something substantial of a business for me where I can rely on it fully. And even though I want to get there, I'm not stressing out saying, you know, I need to get here by this. I have a goal in mind of when I want like to hit 10,000 subscribers and even the other day I was like you know what if it takes me another two three years to hit 10,000 I'm not gonna cry about it you know what I'm saying like I'm the channel is still growing even though I haven't even really been posting recently and you know what I'm saying like it, it it's not messing me up in any way like I'm not sitting down like woe is me I'm not that type of person like you know as long as I have my other sources of income, I'm not going to worry about this one until it becomes something where, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you, you know what I mean? Like, I will never get to the point where I'm solely dependent on YouTube. I just want it to become something substantial that I can add to my portfolio of things that I do. And because I spend a lot of time doing it and I would love to get something back out of it, which I do. But it's at a point right now where it's not um, it helps but it's not substantial enough for me to be like, okay, we in here. You know what I'm saying? Um, so if you guys are out there, you're watching this video, man, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you guys next time. We're going to go full back into full everyday kind of reaction mode. Um, I want to start getting back into the motion of things. Um, by the start of next week, but we'll see how things go. Um, and I will make the, the announcements accordingly. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I know this video was kind of long. I didn't expect it to be this long, but Hey, it is what it is. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. I will catch you guys later, man. Peace.